Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week it's all about making it rain. I'm going to start off with this picture here. We are going to use the picture of a model here as well. This is where we're hoping to end up and for those who want to stick around a little bit longer, just a little bit extra, we're going to try and end up here recolorizing the umbrella to red or whatever color you would like to recolorize it to. So we'll start off with this picture here. The first thing we're going to do is come down to new pixel layers have a new pixel layer come over here to our flood fill tool make sure we're painting in black and we're just going to flood that new pixel layer with black okay we're going to add a noise filter and we're going to use our live filters there's two ways you can get to your live filters you can come down here to your live filters or come up to here layer new live filter layer noise and add noise. Okay, on our noise pop-up box here, we're gonna turn the intensity all the way up to 100%. Okay, next come over to our move tool and we're going to use command minus just to make that a little bit smaller. Clicking on our pixel layer here, I'm gonna drag this just about two or three times bigger than the original picture. And then we're going to zoom in a little bit closer and see all of our noise here. Next thing we're going to do is add a blur. So we're going to come up again to layers, new live filter, and we go blur, and we're going to come to motion blur. On our motion blur pop-up box, I'm going to put the radius up to about 30. You can see something starting to happen now. So I'll put it on 30. I'm going to change the rotation to 75 and hit enter. Sort of rain's coming down on an angle. One more thing we're going to do on this layer is come down here to our adjustments and add a levels. Now I only want the levels layer to affect the motion blur layer. So I'm going to drag that down and clip it to the motion blur. And as you can see, when I move the black level here, the more I move the black level, the rain disappears. The more I move the white level here, the more noise or rain that we get. So it's a matter of just manipulating between the two. And I'm going to bring my black level up to about five, drop this one to about 93. Okay. So clicking back on the pixel layer here, now I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. And there we go, we have our rain, zoom in a little bit. And again, like I said, you can adjust the intensity of the rain by manipulating the levels, the black and the white levels. That doesn't look too bad to me at this stage. So that is the way you create rain in Affinity Photo. But if you wanna stick around for a little bit longer, we're gonna do a few more things with this picture. I'm going to add another live filter, layers, new live filter, and I'm just gonna add a blur and I'm gonna add a depth of field blur just on the background here we bring over our model. I want to blur that background quite a bit in about 30 pretty good and then also on this background layer I'm going to add a black and white and just clip it to just the background as well because the model that I'm going to use is black and white as well. So the rain effects works just as well in color as it does in black and white but we'll come over here to our model we'll come over here to our selection brush tool make our brush a little bit bigger with our right and left bracket keys. I'm just going to select pretty much everything and it's a fairly quick selection because of the background color and we can pretty much select everything fairly quickly. Now I'm going to come up here to refine and I'm going to feather it by two and smooth it by one and hit apply. Okay now we've got our selection I'm going to go command C back to our original picture and command V. I'm going to make this quite big now and stretch it pretty much right across the picture. Okay on this picture you can see the background is not really really black there's not a really lot of really intense blacks but her dress is really quite black. Doesn't quite Quite sort of fit in or blend in at the moment. So I'm going to add a curves layer, my adjustments here. And again, I just want that curves layer to affect the background. I'm just going to flatten the blacks just on her a little bit. So move that up until they flatten. That looks not too bad. Take it down here in a little, little bit down here in the middle and sort of getting our S curve again. But we flatten those blacks on her, makes her blend in a little bit better. Okay, and as you can see with our rain layer here, the rain is in front of her which is fine. We also want some rain behind to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go Command J, drag one of these layers. So we have rain behind as well. The rain in front, I'm going to change the motion blur angle to 90. The rain's coming right down. And then on the levels, I'm going to just bring the blacks up a bit more just so there's not as much rain in front as there is behind. Okay, looking pretty good. So 
So if you stuck around this long, next thing we're going to do is colorize the umbrella. I'm going to turn both of my rain layers off at the moment and I'm just going to click on the background here, just on the model here, this background layer here. And I'm going to come over here to my flood select tool and make sure I've got a tolerance. About 20 is a good tolerance. I've got continuous click and just on the model here, we'll bring her up a little bit bigger. Just going to click on the hair and I'm going to start dragging down and I'm watching all these little strands of hair because I want as much of those as I can get while I'm dragging down. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to come over here to my normal selection tool. I'm going to hold my option key down. I'm going to start to get rid of the selection just on the umbrella. You may have to resize your brush for a little bit of a smaller brush. We just want to get rid of all the selection on the umbrella. We don't have to hold option key while we're in the middle here. Okay, once you're pretty happy that you've just got just the model and a hair selected, what we're going to do is come up here to this little box here that says invert selection. I'm going to click on that to invert the selection. Come down here to my adjustments and I'm going to hit recolor. It's going to recolor pretty much the whole picture except for the model. That's okay. We're going to grab this recolor layer here. And again, we're just going to clip it to the background, to the model. So it only affects the umbrella now since we inverted that selection. We can get rid of our marching ants now you can hit escape or command D. I'm going to click on this recolor layer here and make sure I'm painting in white with my paintbrush and you'll see all these bits that don't look too good they look a little bit sort of messy I'm just going to paint over them in white which is bringing the red back in and again if we come down here to her shoulder we can see that we've got a little bit of red on there so I'm going to hit X and paint in black and I'm just going to clean that up a little bit and her shoulder over here there we've got a little bit of red. I'm going to stay on this recolor and I'm going to change the opacity on that recolor layer down to 50 as I think it blends in a little bit better. And while you've got this recolor one clicked on here, once you've clicked on the recolor, if you double click, you can now use the hue slider to change the umbrella to any color that you like. I'm going to stick with the red. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do on this picture, let's turn our rain back on, both of our rain layers here. Let's turn that one back on and that one back on and bring our rain back in. And the last thing I'm going to do is add one more little pixel layer right up the top. Make sure I'm painting in white. Make sure I've got my brush here. Small brush, just these lights here. I'm just going to click and turn them back on again just to make it look a little bit better in the background. So there you go, everybody. That is the rain rain effect in Affinity Photo with a little bit of a bonus at the end with the recolor of the umbrella. Hope you've really enjoyed the tutorial this week. If you did, please consider subscribing. Please give me a thumbs up and until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.